The traitor was Mechamodo, but at the same time, I don't really blame him because he got his human form back. But also, I think he got some crucial information that he's going to relay onto Gojo. Now, we left out a pretty big cliffhanger. Mechamodo, giant laser beam on Mahito. Mahito's going to be fine. And Geto's in the sideline going, hey there, don't worry about me. I'll go ahead. Don't worry about it. Is Mechamodo going to get out in time? Will someone save him? Let's find out today's reaction. So he just dodged all that. Okay. Of course he did. Oh, no, no, no. We're doing a replay. This is when, you know, the, the ground is shook up and then he's coming out in his, like, ultimate Mechamoto form. Yo, I'm down for a replay like this. And then it had crazy, like, Japanese caption, like, subtitles. Sorry, caption at the very bottom. I think that's traditional to, like, Gundam stuff. It's definitely a reference, right? Like, look, will it do it again? Where's the really cool Japanese caption? There it is! Ultimate Mechamoto mode. Absolute armor pep and ultimate Mechamoto prototypes are way too long. He really does look like Aki from Chainsaw Man, huh? Or uh, Sonic from One Punch Man, but yeah. We need to relay the information to Gojo about the Shibuya plot. Yeah. Geto is just chilling. Geto doesn't really care. He's in the sidelines like, hey. 16 years? Are you using your own lifespan for this? Mahito's not gonna die from this, but like, how does he survive? That was like point blank range. Of course, of course. I hope the fight doesn't end too quick though. Evening festival. Like you've got to have a different plan than just using your punch like that, right? Like I, I would imagine we're not trying to beat them. We're trying to just escape, right? So somehow maybe we're just buying time. What are these times? Two years. It looks like every time he uses an attack, he needs to invest some time. Is this shit from season one that I forgot? It kind of looks like lifespan, maybe? Gear third again! My man is just smiling. He's enjoying the fight, man. Technique loaded? All right, four tries. Finger cannon? Okay. Yo, <laughs> why is Maito so cheeked up from behind? Dang, okay, it landed. But, now what? The it's a technique. No, 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 there it is now. What does it do? So it can, like, hurt his soul, maybe? I don't know. There's no way that's enough, though. Okay, is this arm gonna regenerate? Soul was destroyed, okay! I don't know what the fuck is in that capsule thing, but we can hurt his soul now. You got three more. Mechamoto Prototype Zero kind of looks like a... What is that? It's not dreads in the back. Alien versus Predator. Was it Predator that looked like him? I forget. But how long is the court from behind? What, Ghetto? Perth energy output is a special grade class. Moment I get what? Another special grade? What, 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 what? I don't like all these times that he's putting in, man, to these attacks. I hope it's not really his lifespan. Okay, multiple AoE beams. But, like, my is just gonna dodge it all. Plus, like, these attacks don't damage the soul, right? He's too fucking versatile. Bro's a rat right now, a literal rat. It just feels like a minor inconvenience, right? Or maybe that's the plan. It's like a mix up of not knowing which actually does soul damage or not. Uh, there goes our dreads. Yo, someone really needs to bail him out. There's no there's no way we get out of this alive at this rate. Like, that's fine, but is this soul damaging? Probably not. Can you? Here we go. There's another one. Here's another one. Oh, it's a drill this time. Something sharp. Don't raise death flags! Stop! No! Please land. Ghetto, I swear to God. 
Yoiki Tenkai. Yoiki Tenkai. Ah, shit! And once you're in this, it's like... You're done, right? As soon as you enter, there's no way to dodge it. Imagine Yuji's around here and he fucking jumps in again like how we saved Nanami. <laughs> and Skuna's like, you again? Damn. These domain expansions are so cool, though. God damn. Imagine Mech Kamado also goes domain expansion right now. I don't think he has one. Unless we're getting faked out. Maybe it won't work on Mech Kamado for some reason. It's like absolute. Once you're in his domain, you're done. Nine years, five months, six days is the time I guess he has left for this robot? That's not his actual lifespan, right? Ten days until Shibuya incident. Two more techniques, yeah? That's a long time ago, wasn't it? That technique. Wait. Wait, what do you mean? You got some counter right here? It's getting up, it's getting up, it's getting up. Huh? Did it land with the technique? No, it did! That's another technique! I have no clue what the fuck happened there, but somehow Mechama huh? can counter it. <laughs> simple domain! Didn't Miwa use a simple domain before? Yeah! Right in season one! Mia's like concept, the aesthetics of the blade like that is so cool. I just wish that she was actually OP. Oh shit, he's actually taking damage. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> Okay, but get oh my god, if Ghetto steps in, bro. Have they ever explained simple domain? Mm -hmm. Even Gojo with its mate with inner domain. Oh, I never knew what a simple domain actually was. I just saw you know, Miwa use it in the, um, you can damage other people even within a domain expansion. Ghetto, don't get in there. Please let Mech come out or leave. Nine years of cursed energy. One simple domain, but can you really? Can you really though? My man, I feel like you should escape. Stop tripping death flags! No, if we see Miwa now, it's over. It's fucking over. It's fucking over. No, Mechamoto's dead. I don't care. Why? Why? He's fucking copying you now. The fucking moment he started saying, I'll finally get to see everyone. Like, that's the biggest death flag. But wait, hold up. Wait. Maybe we can at least take Maito out somehow. It's over. It's over. No, 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 no. Hold on. We're doing okay. We're doing decent. Damn, Maito looks fucking disgusting right now. <laughs> Come on, land the last hit. But if you get in contact, oh! Mui Tempen. That's crazy that Mekumura is like actually here. But you know, by beside Miwa, but you know, we're fighting other way, like... The moment you start thinking about your loved ones, your friends during a fucking battle, it's over. Stop. Stop. Stop, you're twisting the knife. No, she's fidgeting with her fingers to point out that maybe Mekawaru and Miwa could have been good friends. Stop this, why? But now this time in the human form, he can compete? Stop! Stop! I can't. I... I'm not even emotionally attached to Mekamoto. What the fuck? Please tell me he's okay. I don't think he's good. Please. Plot armor. Okay, so if Maito's still fine, like, I'm just gonna assume Mekamoto is dead. But we still haven't seen his actual body yet, right? That is really cool, though. How you can use simple domain in a domain expansion. Wait, what's down on the ground? Entrusted Veil? Huh? Interest- Wait, 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 this seems really important, like, plot-wise, what? I'm sure that's some important shit for Shibuya. I think Mekamaru is dead. I mean, we didn't get to see his face, you know, anything. We just saw his, like, you know, big moan. But, maybe he's not dead? I don't know. The veil that Getu was just talking about. <laughs> They're bananas. <laughs> glizzy! There's a Glizzy there! Little do these people all know, they're all gonna die soon. <laughs> wow, a holy nun on Halloween. Yeah, what a piece of shit. Are you gonna actually flip a truck? You shouldn't have done Shibuya this year. You fucked up. You fucked up. The veil is going up. Yeah, it's too over. It's it's already over. So like, now they're gonna harvest all the souls, right? Is that blood? 
It's basically a vacuum sucking up all the humans to take their souls, right? Holy shit. Don't go to Shibuya, guys, on Halloween. Nanami. Fushigo. Team Nanami. Oh, shit. Okay, sure. Thank you for explaining to me the mechanics of the barrier. Cool. <laughs> of course he did, but we did it. That's why he's explaining it. <laughs> Yo, Fushigoro is, you know, a rookie ace. Come on, leave him alone. Team Nobara? Don't know. Team Zenit. Zenit? What? Team Zenit? Yo, isn't this kind of awkward? What the fuck? This dude is the one that, you know, Maki and everybody are like, they're not cool with, right? She's not even paying attention. Something on your back. Panda. Panda wa panda janai. I don't remember this guy. <laughs> Everybody's on standby and let Gojo deal with it. Probably smart. Sorcerer casualties. No, the regular people are already probably dead. But sorcerer casualty, you know someone's gonna die in this arc, man. Oh, fuck. Here we go. I mean, Mechamon might all, all already be dead. A lot of special grade cursed spirits underground. Ooh. Oh, they all know Gojo Satoru? He... Wait, never mind. Okay, someone probably came here and said, all right, you guys just wait for Gojo. <laughs> I got no clue. I got no clue. Y'all are dead. Y'all are all dead. You know, I should be more empathetic to these regular people. But like, I don't have any emotional attachment to them. So if they all just die, I don't really care. Gojo. Oh shit, he's here. All the girls are going to lose it. All the girls are going to fucking lose it, dude. Oh. Where's the reaction? Am I asking for too much to have a little bit of like, all the girls going yeah! as soon as Gojo walked in? Now, regarding like the casualties, like I don't really care if the regular people die because like, let's get real. They're all NPCs to us, right? Who has emotional attachment to these random characters? But the sorcerers, if someone dies in this arc, and they probably will, it's going to be heavy. Huh? There's a reason why everyone has been hyping up this specific arc. A character that's coming. Like, Mechamaru might already be dead, but someone else might die. And usually in these shonen shows, the type of character that dies. Spoilers, Naruto spoilers, by the way. Jiraiya, right? Like, it's the leader mentor role that's already kind of had a complete character arc and that might have already faced death in the past one. There's only one fucking character in season one like that, man. Fingers crossed, but we'll see how it goes. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.